Alright, today we running this plastic or this uh, plastic mulch for produce. And I want to show y'all now that I I got dirty again a minute ago, but what I was doing is um, I wanted to set everything up before I start filming. But I got this platform for this uh, Kenco plastic machine clean. And you can see that line right there, that's a drip tape. And you see up under there, this slides through the dirt, and I'll show you better in a minute. What it does, it forms a bed and lays plastic, does everything. But before I um, got that thing dirty all up again, I want everybody to see what the platform or the bed shape of what it's called looks like. But I'll show you how it all works right here in a minute. We started a bed a minute ago you can already kind of see what it's doing you pull that bed together and back in here that right there is pretty much the bed being formed from the start once it the faster you go the more it'll throw it up in there but I just started this bed we're about to pull our plastic and all out and set that all up and I'll show you how that all works all right like I say, you put your, you got to get your leg out of there. All right, now, get ready. Put the plastic under there. So she's putting the plastic out, and you put the tire on there, and same thing on the other side. She puts the plastic up under there. Lift that one. All right, set it down. The plastic goes under them tires, and it's covering this. Throw it back on. Lacy, my other daughter's job. Is this she just holds this pole with the drip tape that way the drip tape don't move and she stands on the plastic kind of helps and that's the way it works all right show everybody a trick um, a lot of times on this end here we're not going to tie any tails where I'm gonna run my main line but I'll go ahead and show because I already cut a little piece off but on that end down there since we're running water that way under this plastic I want to show you how a cheaper way of tying your drip tape off they sell these special fittings and all this stuff, but you don't have to buy that. It's um, kind of more waste of money. Um, but what you do is you cut off about that much of a piece of drip tape. And what you do is you take it, fold it over once, twice, and then three times. And then you'll take it and kind of form it around itself. I'll show you when it's unrolled. But you take your drip tape and you squeeze it like that once it's folded over three times. And then you take this other piece of tape and you just open it up and slide it across. And what it'll do is it'll kink the line off enough to where you don't have to buy those fittings or do that type of stuff. Um, just a little trick. Another thing, there's not a hole on this one, but when you're laying your tape, say there's an emitter right there, there's a little hole, you can see it, well you see it good there, a little pinhole, that's where the water comes out this tape, and I think this one here is every, it's every foot, there's another one right here, so it's about every nine inches to a foot, but you don't want your tape, you don't want your emitter down, you want them up. Um, that way it, it pushes water up to the plants and can kind of clean itself out and all. But um, 
just little tricks of the trade and stuff, you know, to save people money. I know a lot of people know those tricks, but uh, some people watching this don't. And another thing is you don't have to go to this type of setup. You can grow produce on bare ground. You just use overhead sprinklers or whatnot. You don't have to do all this. Um, I do it because I can warm up my soil faster and uh, I can grow, put produce in the ground faster and it's just easier on me the weeds around the plant you don't have much weeds um you will have weeds in these row metals uh but i can still run a cultivator back through here or i can spray um, herbicide down at the kill grass and stuff like that since i'm putting out broadleaf wheat i'm not broadleaf weeds i'm putting out uh broadleaf produce um so just there's all kind of tricks of doing this but that's what's going on today is we're laying plastic. I got a break right now because my laborers want to eat something. So we'll be back in a minute.